good morning welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing well we are back we are back with an exciting challenge you will have just seen in the intro what this video is going to be about tuesday the 12th of december and tomorrow wednesday the 13th my friend sarah and i are going to attempt the hundred hundreds challenge so for anyone who's unaware of what that is you swim 100 reps of 100 meters totaling 10 kilometers in the pool so 400 lengths in total i have never swam anything like that distance ever um, and it's obviously not something that i've particularly been training for obviously winter training has just been a case of just keeping things ticking over a couple of hard sessions lots of easy miles just enjoying my training nice to have a like pull back a little bit before we get into um, a 70.3 prep from January but um, we thought why not try this uh, that's what this video is going to be about so today I'll be carving up I'll be resting I'll be getting my food ready for tomorrow so I'm going to show you all of that I, I don't even know what like to how to fuel it what to fuel with obviously I'm just going to take a shitload of gels sweets like some flapjacks loads of electrolytes because I tend to cramp in the pool after anywhere after like 3k is when I tend to cramp so I'm going to try and make sure I don't cramp with lots of electrolytes so I'm going to show you what I have and yeah I'm just about to make some oats now big bowl of oats I'll have oats for breakfast I've got pasta ready and prepped for lunch and petite tonight I'll probably have something ricey or potatoey enjoy the video i hope we get through it like I know that I'll, I'll, I'll do my very best to get through it as i do with anything that i do any challenge that i set i will do my very best but i've never done anything like this before so um i feel like mentally it's going to be tough and that's why i'm doing it with my friend sarah she's an amazing swimmer so it'd be nice just to have someone there i think my mum will come down and do maybe like you know 20 of the hundreds with us so she always swims with us so that'll be nice it's a challenge it's fun that's what it's all about and i hope you enjoy this video if you haven't liked and subscribed and all of that stuff please do that now and i'll catch up in a bit i didn't think i was going away for mum mm -hmm. right so fueling for tomorrow I'm just taking like more than i think i'll need because it's better to be over prepared you'll never know what you need that's what i always do when i'm racing any sort of triathlon i think it's better to like in your transition bags for example to have too much than to get to transition and be like i could really do with whatever and it not be there so all different flavors of gels i don't know how i'm thinking maybe every 500 having a gel no no that's way too many because that would be 10 gels no that would be 20 gels absolutely not um maybe every kilometer having a gel and then in between if i need anything but i think what we're going to do is break it down into blocks of 10 100 so doing 10 hundreds with 15 second rest and i think we're going to aim for maybe like 135 to 140 so we'll be doing it on 155 ish um so each block will take just under 20 minutes so about every 20 minutes having then like a minute or two break breaking it down like that and i think we're going to take it in turns with who leads each block of 10. so that's how that's going to look and maybe have a gel at the end of each one of them i then got a couple of the my protein fat jacks i've also got some granola squares which i'm going to cut up into smaller pieces um bite-sized chunks i had these on my bike as well in copenhagen my iron man and then i asked my mum to go and get some sweets from the shop <laughs> and she's got five bags of haribo so we won't we won't be short of sweets sarah has got some pretzels because if we need a bit of salt then that is a great idea and she's also got some bananas as well so she'll bring them tomorrow and i've then also got a red bull that i'll take just for a bit of caffeine maybe like halfway through just to get me give me a bit of a boost and also i've got some electrolyte drinks all of those are in the fridge ready to go and then obviously i'll take some water as well but i think i'll just drink electrolytes i'll put an electrolyte to have in my water as well so i minimize the chance of cramping as much as possible because i think i tend to cramp anything from 3k i tend to cramp so we want to try and minimize that as much as possible i'll have some oats or some cereal or something in the morning and that is the plan so that is my fueling strategy <laughs> there is no strategy it's just have stuff on the side and make sure to have something maybe every couple hundred meters but yeah that's that's the strategy you did great thanks mom you're the best cheerleader well i know like that i know you can i didn't even eat anything when i did that six miles 
I know I've still, I've still got you recording. Sorry, Mum, the pro swimmer here. This is my mum who is a pro swimmer. <laughs> no, you are good though, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Modest as ever. So, um, you did what? When, was it Windermere? Lake Coniston. Lake Coniston. From end to end. From end, to end. 5.6 miles. So about 6 miles, so about 10k swim. Yeah. And what, what did you fuel yeah. on? <laughs> A few jelly babies halfway <laughs> through from the boat. <laughs> Good. You know, it took me a long, long time. How long did it take you? About three and a half hours. Well, that's not that long. And we're thinking we'll take that long tomorrow, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. But you're going to come and meet us for a couple I of... I am. I'm going to swim a couple of kilometres with you. Well, Good. Thanks. In the same lane, actually. <laughs> with you. There for moral support. Fueling up on Jack of Potatoes with Mum before... The big day. <sighs> it's time. Good morning. So it is quarter past six. Um, I've been up for about 45 minutes just getting things sorted, had a coffee. I'm going to have some cereal now. I'm just going to have a little bit, not too much. I don't normally eat before I swim, but I think today should be an exception. Mini Reese Bix to fuel the first part of this session. When you were behind, just behind. Yeah, just a Right, I'm all packed and ready to go. You'd think I was like going on a bloody three day camping trip with the amount of food I've got, but I feel like just having stuff there, it's better to be safe than sorry. Also a Red Bull and a couple of electrolyte drinks. I've got electrolytes in my water as well. With swimming as well, I think it's one of them that you don't feel like you're sweating or you're dehydrated, but you need to keep topping up fluid. So I think having them there as a visual reminder will remind me to have a little sip sort of every couple of hundred. All that's left now to do is walk over to the pool and get it done. <laughs> oh God, oh God. Here we are. Here's our home for the next four hours. I'm gonna grab one of those lanes and stay in it until we're done. <laughs> To be fair, we are pretty lucky with this pool. Um, it doesn't get very busy. Um, it's not like sort of you hear these horror stories about public pools that you have like 20 people in a lane. It rarely gets busy, which I mean, touch wood, I'll be saying that and I'll be busy today, but we tend to get lane to ourselves. So that is, we're very lucky. That is very, very handy. So hopefully that'll be the same today. Now, the end of the world because I look <laughs> This is Sarah, <laughs> she's the crazy one doing this with me and apologies for like it's all foggy but that's poolside for you apparently. Um, so it's seven past seven and we're about to get started. Right, are you ready? <laughs> ready. You look this great. <laughs> um, so I'll update you in a couple of comments time. Yay. Yay, 1k done. So 1k done, I think we've probably gone too fast in that. We've done the more sort of like 130, 135, 15 second rest. All good, all good. Although at number six, I was like, are we at number eight? So the fact that I'm already struggling with counting is concerning. Um, Goggle marks are already in. So all in all, we're a tenth down. All good, I'm gonna grab some, grab some sweet, just open some sweet, have them on the side. So, um, Sarah led that one. I'm gonna lead the next ten, and yeah, start getting some sugar in them now. I'm gonna lead the next ten. They probably will be nowhere near as fast, so I'm just letting you know. Right, last hundred. Two oh. K done. Two K done. Oh. Only eight K to go. I'm starting to cramp in my calf already. Um, I know you get to lose. I'm glad I'm not losing this one. I, I get so stressed leading. There's a frame. Brilliant. It's only 8 k to go. Look, in my head, I only have to lead four more times. You only have to lead four more times. That's it, four. 
no problem. Yeah. So they were all like 135s, 137s. A little bit slower than Sarah's because Sarah's an amazing swimmer. <laughs> um, so she's leading this time. Anyway, right. See you in a kilometer. Right, 3k down. We're eating flapjacks. Just means the low. I'm cramping. But we're alive. We're doing good. All good? All good? <laughs> Okay, in. Um, I'm cramping bad. I tend to cramp anything from 3k. I tend to cramp. <laughs> Cardiovascular feel fine, but cramps are real. Mum's come to join us. <laughs> She's here for moral support. So we are a 4k in, so we're about to match our longest ever swim, which Sarah says is 4.2. Yeah. So the fact we're almost at a PB swim anyway is great. Um, I led for some of them then, but Sarah took my lead because I couldn't kick. So Sarah is saving the day currently, which is great. <laughs> I couldn't do without her here. Um, but yeah, so far, I was going to say good. so far, so good. So far, all right. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm so good, but I'm all right. We are still here. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh my god, I've never seen that before in my life. Nope. Oh, sort of had to pull one out of 50. Yeah. So I feel I hope so. Come this far. Right, 5k in. How are you feeling? Good. That's my biggest ever swim anyway, so if, all, if everything fails, yeah. I've done a PB swim today. <laughs> but no, it's easy from here. Going um, downhill. We're right? over the, downhill. Over the hump. Yeah. Over the hump. In, in, in I'm leading like, next. Easier. Easier, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm like, leading for the next good. 10. Um, I have no kick in my leg, but we're moving. We're moving. We're doing good. Mum's joining us. How many lengths are you on, Mum? Uh, maybe done one K. <laughs> <laughs> She's done one K. She's here for moral support. Um, I'm going to go to the loo, have a banana, and more snacks. I feel like yes. we need more food in. We've not had much food. Yeah. But 5K in. Um, it hurts and it's horrible. But feeling good, despite yeah, the pain. Yeah. I think it hit me at like. 3.94k I was like oh god we've got so long left and then yeah anyway all smiles <laughs> it's not really oh. nice oh, and then nice here we are nice Yay. and then ready there's my phone yeah I was going to say that's yeah. it you just completely flashed the camera but... oh great I forgot about my gel and it's banana. Red Bull time half a banana yeah. and then we only got 5k to go only 5k to go Right, yeah, 6k. 6k. That's mad. So we've, we're each leading blocks of 10 reps, so we've both got two, two blocks. Left. Yeah, two blocks of 10 left to lead. Um, my mind were a bit slow then, but we made it. It's not about the pace. No, it's the distance. <laughs> it's the distance. I one time myself, it's so easy to um, like drift off as well. Let you lose concentration so easily, but I'm happy. Yeah, I am too. Well, besides this burning shoulder pain, but you know, like, uh, oh yeah, my lats and my triceps, I think, are where out my shoulders. <laughs> my right foot and my left calf are where the cramps are. Nice. I'm not sure I'm feeling it, but are you cramping or anything? You're good. No, I'm all good. I'm, I'm staying. Just me and my weak heart. The distance we've got left now is an Ironman swim. Nice, easy. Ironman swim to go, it's it. <laughs> That's all we've got left. <laughs> oh. <Right. laughs> Here we go, putting it off. Right, it's only 10, it's only 10 hundreds. Only 10 hundreds. Right, see you on 10. <laughs> Oh, you're leading this one. Oh my gosh, I, I just one. was about to set off and I'm like, I'm not leading. Right, we are on, we've done 8k. We've got 9 and 10. That's it. 2k. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> my brain's not working. <laughs> um, Sarah's leading this 10. I'm leading the next 10, maybe. <laughs> um, let's go. 9, let's, go. let's get to 9. Let's go. Ugh. One mile. 
to go. 1600 left. <laughs> That is ridiculous. 9k. 9k. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> Moral That's support. Enough. Oh my gosh. This is like unknown territory. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of us. Final k to go. We've got about 11. Out for 11. Full day of work. That's it. <laughs> Easy. Easy, Easy morning stuff. swim. Yeah. <laughs> I will say that my calves and my legs are cramping. I think that's the hardest bit for me. What would you say the hardest bit for you is? Probably just my shoulders, but that's just aching. The shoulders. Thing. Shoulders aching. I've got cramping in my calves. I think as well, oh, like the where goggles. goggles yeah, it hurts. Headache. Hurts your face, a bit of a headache. Yeah. I think those will be the three main things we're struggling with. But no time to moan. We yeah. do this to ourselves. <laughs> um, 10 left. The burn of putting your goggles back on. I know it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Right then. Ends in sight. The end is in sight. Is it on though? Uh, it's recording, yes, Mum. Nice. You ever? I'm gonna eat these oh, while I swim. No, no, no. I'll oh. eat them while I swim. <laughs> Last game. See ya. See ya. Five to go. Five to go. Yeah, five to go. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the last hundred. <laughs> Final hundred. See ya. We want a round of applause when we get back for yeah. this one. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Sure. Right. Right. Let's do it. <laughs> Yay! sit down oh come and say well done thank you thank you i just swam 10k darling i did um i'm back home oh my god that was that was tough <laughs> that was really tough um like physically that was really hard mentally like you're just just staring at the bottom of the pool for well we were in the pool for four hours i think swim time was like 2 45 something like that um but in the pool for, <laughs> for just under four hours so it's a long time in there i'm gradually starting to become less wrinkly and <laughs> i'm exhausted i think well i think the proper tiredness will hit me later there was a, a moment that i genuinely thought i was gonna have to stop because i cramped at just over 3k which tends to be the distance I tend to cramp at like when I did my Ironman swim I cramped around three and a half k and that happened today and it was just this horrendous pain in my it's always my soleus so bottom of my calf um on my left hand side always the same place and um, I always have a bit of a niggle in that calf anyway I should probably do more bent knee calf raises but anyway I will get onto that yeah I just always cramp there so on my arm holding this camera I'm just gonna lean on my arm but so yeah I cramped there and then cramped in my right the arch of my right foot so I, I didn't kick really my legs from about three and a half k right to the end they were kind of like just dragging behind me and I was thinking should I go and get my pull boy just to keep them afloat but I feel like that would would have been a bit of a cheat it wouldn't have been a cheat but anyway I don't want to do that so I didn't and <laughs> I just get them trailing behind me so there wasn't any power coming from my legs it was all from my arms which I'm just gonna switch arms now that made for a really tough um well six and a half k okay. <laughs> overall average pace was 138 which is which is great hazel you are molting so much um so i was really happy with average pace 138 across that distance that's mad um my goggle marks look awful we broke it down was we did 
yeah, every hundred after every hundred we had a fifteen second rest, and then after every ten block of ten we would have like a two three minute rest um, to go to the loo to have some fuel that sort of thing. We had slightly longer rest after five k when we were halfway, and then yeah, I just tried to just keep reminding myself to to fuel. I completely forgot I had gel, so I had one gel across the whole thing, and then just having sweets and some flapjacks and a banana and I drank three bottles of electrolytes so I was happy that I did that but still cramped so that's a bit annoying um but yeah I would say from like three and a half k to maybe like seven k was that was the toughest Sarah led for the first 10 I led for the second and, and kept swapping so that was nice because it kind of gave you a bit of a mental break every other one and you could sort of like just follow behind so that was nice um but yeah, overall, like really, really great challenge. I'm really happy that we we did it. We committed and we followed through with it. Um, but yeah, as I said, there was a time when I was like, shit, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. But then I kept saying to myself, like, can't let everyone down. Not that I'm letting anyone down, but in my head, I might have told everyone that I'm doing this. And also it's good to do hard things. It is good to do hard things. And I think that is something we all need to remember because training or life like it's not supposed to be easy you know it's good to set yourself these hard tasks to prove to yourself how mentally and physically strong you are um, and these hard things that we overcome we proved ourselves what we are capable of just helps us build that confidence in ourselves and helps us yeah continue to be a stronger human so great mum came down to support as well i think she i think actually i need to ask her what she did she probably did near 4k which is amazing so yeah all in all a great morning out and i need to go and work now i've got clients to catch up with i've got programs to write i've got check-ins with my clients to do and yeah just got a big day of work so Thank you for watching. If you got this far, I really appreciate it. And um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do like, comment, as I always say. I'd love to chat to you in the comments. So comment, like, and make sure you subscribe for more videos um, very soon. So I'll see you soon.